I'm Doug Hughes. Uh, great to see you guys again. Uh, so this build and uh, a couple around it are uh, all from the recent uh, Mock Pages game called Decisive Action 3. Uh, I had not participated in either of the previous iterations, but uh, I heard about it and it's basically Risk with Lego and you build military builds for uh, kind of points and all that sort of stuff. And of course it sucks up all your time, it's crazy, it's ridiculous, <laughs> and it's so much fun. And uh, I mean, there's people all over the world, and so anyway, uh, they have different rounds, and so they give you uh, uh, requirements for each round. So the armored personnel carrier, for instance, that was round one, uh, and they said it has to have this many wheels, and that's it, you know. And that was, and you just run with it, with your imagination. So uh, I, I wanted something like really beefy and boxy looking, and uh, I wanted some suspension-ish type thing, and some. So I just kind of fudged it in with. Uh, uh, some mixel ball joint type thing. So like the wheels look like they turn, but they, <laughs> they don't turn at all. Uh, and then of course the inside I tricked out with some sweet like spinny chairs and stuff, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun to build that. Uh, and then later one of the other categories was to build a boat uh, that can launch it. And of course, since I had built a giant APC, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I have, this, I have, to, have build to build something to scale for that. <laughs> yeah. I have to fit this in a boat, so. Uh, Basically, I went big scale. I used a lot of those big white panel pieces that they've had on Pick a Brick Wall recently, and uh, that helped get the bulk that I needed. Um, the superstructure was one of the more fun parts. I really liked doing that, uh, the front window. Those are some old town uh, six tall uh, windows just turned on their sides. Uh, so that was kind of neat. Um, superstructure was cool. I kind of looked up some World War II ships and just try and build something similar ish, yeah. you know, kind of the Kind flavor. of that general aesthetic there. Yeah, right. Um, I didn't actually build a Huey at the time, and I see the blade is askew, but that's okay. <laughs> it needs a little maintenance. <laughs> but uh, I built that a couple weeks ago to uh, uh, fill in the build. It would look a little more realistic if it had the uh, helipad with something on it, you know? <laughs> it would be a little more fun. Uh, and yeah, and then one of the other categories was to build a torpedo boat, and so I built that kind of complimentary little boat, and, and I patterned it off of. I can't remember the name of the company, something Marine, JV Marine or something like that. They build these wild, super cavitating boats that they look like giant pontoons that that's underneath the water and that's all that's under the water. And it just goes like really fast. And I thought, oh, I got to build one of those. So that was a fun one. Um, yeah, and it's yeah. a great layout all together here. How did you decide on the color scheme for kind of each section of the build? Uh, basically, the color scheme was uh, pretty early. I, I knew I wanted to do something white and orange. I, I hadn't done that color scheme before, and uh, uh, one of the other talented builders, uh, Pico Van Groot, Grootwald, Grootveld, I forget, uh, he had done something a while ago called Tequilatron, which was uh, white and I think it had some orange, but it was a lot of that like lime green color. And so I thought, okay, I'll do like a little twist on that because I like the color scheme so much. So that's, that's kind of decided it for me. Uh, and yeah. then for the, the land here, I like what you've done kind of with the, you've got the water kind of parts something you see a lot, but even the land is kind of a similar technique. So talk about how you decided to do that. <laughs> I, I'd love to say it was some grand genius plan, but it was uh, mostly time and laziness. I mean, I, I had a limited amount of time to do the build and I wanted to get some pictures and I wanted to be a beach landing. And so I was like, I did just go to pick a brick wall and picked a zillion of these little cheese. So I just dumped them in a pile and threw some plants and figs in it and... I, I was actually really happy how it looks. I am surprised it looked good at all. So uh. I think for the beach effect, it works really well, actually. Right, yeah, kind of a messy sand feel. You know, it's, uh, it's windy, it's everything, you know, a lot of things happening, so, yeah. So is this an idea or a kind of a color theme that you want to expand on in the future with other vehicles or anything like that? Uh, good question, I, you know, I might. Uh, actually, my Titanfall build ended up being in this <laughs> same uh, color scheme, too. It's just. Yeah. I think it's just a really nice combo, so I'm sure I'll revisit in the future, but uh, nothing in the works at the moment, uh, but yeah. yeah. Well, until then, it's a fantastic build here, and I'm glad the contest got you building uh, all of these <laughs> yeah. nice, nice displays here, so thanks so much for bringing it to the show. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Good to talk to you.